For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Hey, you guys. If you may or may not know, I'm Ikea, and this is... Yeah. You got to speak up, Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Today, I'm... um. You know, just here, just to do a short video. To say. No, not to say, not yet. Um, just to share with the mothers. Um, um, just to encourage and also, mm -hmm. you know, just to just to do a short video, just to reach out to y'all. Um, I am a single mother of one. Um, like I said before, of my cub. Um, he's six years old. And, and mom, what? 30. Don't tell my age. <laughs> <laughs> um, often as mothers, we tend to put our focus um, on our children, which is absolutely not a bad thing. Um, but in doing so, you know, like we tend to forget about our self, our desires, um, and especially like our purpose. Um, in life that God wants to fulfill. I know some of us question, you know, like ourselves before, like, um, who am I? What is my purpose here on earth? Jesus already uh, instructed every believer to preach the gospel, um, but we all do it in our own unique way. Um, some do it through art, some do it through poetry, some do it even through speaking. Um, but we use our gifts and talents to bring people to Christ um, and also encourage the body of Christ. The fruits of the Holy Spirit is um, joy, um, peace, patience, um, love, just to name a few. Now, the Holy Spirit provides each um, believer with a gift. Um, for example, teaching, um, discernment, um, prophecy. Now, your talent is your natural ability, singing, dancing. Um, it is important to remember your talents aren't your gifts. Um, a gift would be from the Holy Spirit placed into the believers um, to help encourage um, and serve the body of Christ. Your purpose is to worship God. Um, you have to allow the Holy Spirit to activate it, just um, like Paul uh, told Timothy to stir up the gift that is inside of him. Um, guys, I just want to let you know, you know, God's purpose for our lives are much greater than our own desires. We were created um, by the Lord with a purpose. And 1 Thessalonians 2, 4, our purpose is to please God, not man, not man. We will discover you know, our, our, our identity and our purpose through the relationship with Jesus Christ. Once you do, when I tell y'all, your eyes and your heart will open up much more because all the pieces of the puzzle will connect together. Uh, like, I don't know. Ugh. Like, it just warmed my heart or whatever. Like, you know, like just saying it, you know, like, because of years, like not knowing you know, when it's like how everything is just like playing out, like, oof. One last thing, you know, that I want to um, talk about is um, please, 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 mothers, please, ladies, um, please be mindful of how, you know, you treat and talk to your children um, as a mother. Um, and as a woman, period, uh, it's disgusting, like just seeing, you know, like how mothers, you know, like these is children and stuff that you gave birth to, you know, um, I don't know, like the Lord the created us to be compassionate, loving, um, caring, um, nurturing, compassionate, um, to our husbands and also to our children. God's word says, you know, that our children are gifts, you know, so, um, I just seen like countless of women, uh, treat their children as a curse because um, they are so bitter, you know, of how a felt relationship with the, with the kid's father, they make their children pay for, you know, like their mistakes. 
Um, you know, it, like you just have to like remember, like, you know, they didn't ask to be here, you know, so like they are, you know, gifts or whatever, like from God. So, you know, like don't treat them, you know, like, like that, you know, and it, it's just so hurtful. It's just so hurtful, like just to see that. And it, it, it really breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart um, to see broken women break their, uh, uh, their, their, you know, like their, their child's spirits. You know, like you have to be mindful of verbal, emotional, physical, physical abuse. Um, um, you can have like, you know, like the child and stuff like walking around in life feeling rejected or in love, unwanted, you know, and like that's that's not cool. That's not cool at all. If you if they don't receive the love and stuff like from you, they will look for it, you know, like in anybody for like validation, the wrong person. Let's get that straight, the wrong person. Um, what your kids learn from the time that they are born all the way up until they are accountable for themselves, fall backs on you. If you teach your child the wrong things, God is going to hold that accountable unto you. So I just encourage you to spend time um, with your children. Take the time out, you know, to, um, and, and you know what, guys, and it don't even have to be expensive. You know, it's a lot of stuff or whatever that y'all can do for free, especially like at home, reading books, uh, coloring, puzzles, um, talking to them, give them hugs and kisses, tell them that you love them. And most of all, teach them the word of God. Um, and this is why, like, I, I, I take my hat off to my mom. You know, she was a single mother of three. You know, she did an absolutely great job. You know, like, she didn't have, like, a lot of money. But spending time, like, with us, like, that was her, you know, like, main focus. And I'm glad that she did. Um, oh, my God. When we was, like, younger, um, oh, my God, we used to, like, oh, we used to hate. You know, like, she wanted to sit down, like, all the time or whatever. You know, um, and like just talk about like school, like life, like what's going on and stuff like with us, uh, um, you know, like um, church. And she used to like always like make us like sit down and like sing with each other, you know, but it's crazy. Like I, I really, you know, like I take my head off to her because um, I really like see, you know, like why she and I get the context of why she did that. You know, it, it is crazy of us, you know, like as kids or whatever, like, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, like, yeah, like now or whatever, like just looking back and like just thinking like that is it, it, it helped. It helped. It helped. OK, um, at this time, I just want to uh, give a brief um, background of myself. Um, Josh's father and I, we was together for 10 years, um, four years into the relationship. We conceived Josh. By the time Josh was born, I was 23. Like most of us females, um, I was scared, nervous, anxious, um, overwhelmed, confused. Um, not just because I'm about to endure, you know, like uh, pain, uh, but um, of, like, how am I going to juggle? a full-time job. At that time, I was a correctional officer, you know? So like, how am I going to juggle like, you know, a correctional officer and, and I had the three to 11 shift, you know, and then also like a newborn, you know, and you know, like with your first child, you know, like how you want to spin and, you know, be there for their first steps there, seeing every- them grow, you know, like the walk in, um, hearing the, like the first words, like the, the, the teeth coming in, you know, when I didn't like, want to like miss none of that stuff. So, you know, um, I took a year off of work when I had Josh. So, um, by the time that I am coming back to work, you know, like it's crazy. Well, let's go back of me taking a year off of leave of absence, um, you know, to be with Josh, um, I kept calling like human resource, you know, cause it just had me like thinking like, no man, you know, like I'm loving every, you know, like moment of this, you know? So I'm like, no, I can't, I cannot go back to being a correctional officer. So I kept calling up to the human resources, uh, you know, to see if they can either put me on like a morning shift, which they couldn't or like an office job so I can have morning shift. Um, so 
um, about time it's time for me, you know, like my year is almost up. So it's about time for me like to go back to work, you know? So I'm like, I'm, I'm like contemplating like, okay, you know, um, like maybe I should just like leave, you know, but then I'm thinking, you know, like about Josh or whatever, you know, like, um, this is, this will be my only source of like income. Um, also like the benefits and stuff. Um, so yeah, two weeks before I have to go back, right? Nothing but God, two weeks, they call me up like, um, there is an opening, you know, like, uh, this secretary is leaving. She's leaving, like to go to the word department, you know, and we think that you will, you know, like, like this position, you guys, um, I love it. I'm the only secretary. I'm back there by myself, but not even that. Um, it's just like the morning shift weekends off. Um, yeah, the weekends off. And this is what I've been like praying for or whatever, because this is what I want, like to, to, to spend uh, time and stuff like with Josh, um, picking him up from school, doing activities and stuff like with him, um, being there with him, uh, you know, like weekends, uh, school trips, everything, oh, you know, man. my views um, as a mother from, you know, it came to me as like a different perspective. Um, naturally as parents, we desire our kids, uh, you know, like the best for them. Um, but me having a boy, Ooh, a boy. <laughs> um, like it's stuff that he will be facing like, and, in, in, you know, in life or whatever, oh, because in my life, I wouldn't be able to give him all he needed, um, as he faces certain experience, um, in life, not only because he's a boy, but you know, like a, a black man. I thank God for his dad teaching him the basics, uh, for Josh right now. Um, as a man, the other thing that Josh father, you know, can I give him at this point is how to become a Christian man. And that's where I come in, even though I'm not a man, you know, but me having a Christianity, uh, you know, like background, I grew up in church. Um, I am able to teach Josh the basics of how I, you know, like learned how my mom had sort, you know, like us. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's also like a, a great feeling or whatever of Josh. Um, you know, he always asks and are we going to church? Can we pray? You know, and like he said in the beginning of the video, like, um, are we going to sing? So, yeah. But you know what? the praying so maybe i'll have him like pray for you guys in this video and i know that i am preparing him and placing him um on the right path now does that mean um that he when he gets older he's not going to make any mistakes absolutely not absolutely not but i know that if i follow god's word by training him up um in the right path that's pleasing to god um, that Josh will grow up and he won't stray off from the path that, you know, that he, that he, that he will be on the, the dreams and stuff, you know, that I did have, you know, I had to put them on the back burner. Um, cause like I said before, like my whole focus and stuff like was on cub, you know, so like, it's crazy. Like last year of me, like driving to work, you know, like I used to like pray and, um, you know, like in, you know, and talk to God and like, just ask him like, God, you know, like show me, you know, like, and, and reveal to me, like, what is my purpose here on earth? Because I know, you know, that you have like so much more like in store for me. So, you know, when I tell you like, God, like really answer like questions, <laughs> like, um, yeah, like he's opening up my, my eyes to, to so much. Um, before I, I end this video soon. Um, um, with my gifts and talents that the Lord has given me, um, I realized um, all along that he <laughs> that he was preparing me for today and for the future. Um, as a child, my mother would always take uh, my sisters and I uh, to go feed the homeless. And voila, like what have I been doing uh, for the past? Um, two years now, uh, like I started like um, 
my Bible verses, uh, Bible verses, trays, and paper bag um, ministries, feeding the homeless around my way or down like Frankfurt. And I'm loving every bit, every bit of it. Um, but before I end this video, I would just want to let you ladies know, please never stop seeking God um, for your strength, for your wisdom, for guidance, and for peace of mind. Um, for him to reveal his purpose, for his purpose in your life. Um, um, after y'all finish like watching this video, I do want you to go, you can either like ask yourself, but then also I want you to like to write it down and also like pray, you know, like on it too. But I want you to ask yourself, who am I and am I walking in my purpose? And if you're not even sure, I want you just to, you know, like ask God. Ask God, what is your purpose here on earth? Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, I, I, I just pray that this video um, bless and touch and, and encourage uh, um, the mothers out there. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to um, inbox us. Um, you know what? And you can also follow us on our Facebook page, um, Chosen Masterpiece. And also um, we have a website. We'll probably have like the link below, but if not, it'll be www.chosenmasterpiece.com. All right, ladies. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. God bless. Hey, you guys. As I promised Josh, that we were sang for you guys. So here we go. Ready? Uh -huh. Jesus loves the Go ahead. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. You want to do it by yourself? Go ahead. Jesus loved the little children, all of the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are pregnant in the sight. Jesus loved the children of the world. Oh, he sounds so nice. Come on, one, one, two, three. Jesus, Jesus loves the little children, all of the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all of the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world.